Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will also discuss an important topic on precision agriculture. So basically today's session I try to discuss about that how we can easily monitor the crop yield prediction using ground truth data. So let's go. So this is one kind of our online training program for precision agriculture using remote sensing in Google Earth Engine. If you want to interest in this training program and learn how to we use the different types of remote sensing technique in agriculture section, so you can easily get all of information from this link. So this link I already added in the video description. So further check all of course content. And if you want to join, then simply contact in this WhatsApp number, also contact with this email. So today's session I discuss about that, how we can easily monitor the crop yield prediction based on ground truth data. So for that here I already collected some ground truth data. So if you check this excel file, so basically this excel file including the latitude and longitude value and also including some yield data for its location. So now we try to use this coordinate and also use this type of yield data and then further we try to monitor crop yield prediction. So for this region, first of all we need to simply uh, import our all of data. So basically crop yield is also defined some variable or factor. So further, first of all I try to import the signal to satellite imagery and then I try to put at the growing season. So basically December to uh, April we take this time period and then further we cal calculate the NDVI and then also take this land side and also calculate the NDVI as well as also take the modis and also we calculate the NDVI and we also try to monitor for precipitation. So for the precipitation we take this uh, chart satellite imagery and further we also try to monitor for the growing season what is the precipitation average precipitation we consider and also temperature because temperature precipitation or soil information so this type of factor is very effect on the crop yield so that's why we also take this type of variable and further we also take that soil moisture information and combine all of feature together so after combining so in this case we simply import our crop yield information basically longitude value data is different and support at the crop yield data and further we try to take our study mainly our point and then further we try to use here the 900 meter buffer and then we try to create this type of rectangle in here okay so after doing these things we simply collect the trainings pixel value and in this case we also try to use the property name basically yield because in this case we try to use this yield data as a properties okay and further we just create the random forest uh, machine learning model and connecting with our training data and then further we just try to predict what is that uh, crop yield prediction for each field so if you check this type of map we generate in here for each field so we can easily get this type of lesion also add in here so we find out that uh, this type of red color indicating about that low crop yield prediction um, uh, 2.12 ton or less than 2.12 ton and this type of green color so basically this type of green color indicating about that 7.88 ton or more than 7.88 ton result so this is the process using this process we can easily predict for crop yield prediction based on the different types of factor as well as also use at the some ground truth data mainly ground sample data and further we can easily uh, export this type of map as a got file format and also use as well as if you want you can also calculate the linear relationship between this type of factor with your ground uh, with your crop yield data so further one other lecture i also discuss about that how we can easily create the linear relationship between the crop yield data and other factor or parameter 
So today is new here and if you want to join my online training program and learn the appreciation agriculture using remote sensing and GIS. So basically it's one kind of private training. So if you are interested to join and learn all of details for that in this case we try to only example only for that agriculture precision area how we can easily use GIS and remote sensing. So if you want to join simply contact in this email and also contact with this WhatsApp number. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy. Stay safe.